But in terms of it being illegal, um, it's really a matter of interpretation. You really don't want to get caught doing it because it's just a funny thing to have to explain to a police officer. The Red Swing project started in February 2007 um, with the school assignment at the UT School of Architecture. Uh, with this, the assignment was to come up with an urban intervention within the city of Austin, and the idea I had was to hang red swings. When we did the project, um, it, it, was, it was almost like a science experiment in the sense that you have an environment and you put something in this environment that's going to alter it, and you kind of sit back and see what happens out of it, you know? And somehow you're... you're instigator but you're not you're not a you're not the composer you know probably if we had it done the right way he should have probably had to have waivers signed there by the university and he would have to have signed a waiver or anything like that but we didn't do anything of that you know so I'm sure if they hear about it they're probably what what was he, is he responsible for that? So now, now somebody, somebody's going to fall in India, you know, and it's going to break a leg and it's going to sue UT, you know? <laughs> Having it be anonymous helps keep it magical and wonderful. It makes the project be more about the swing and the people using the swings and the locations of the swings rather than a story of, like, a person hanging a swing. I think it would hurt the project if uh, there was a name attached to it. To date, we've hung roughly 95 red swings in the U.S., uh, France, Spain, Portugal, India, Brazil, Thailand, and South Korea. From each place, we began to notice that in some places the swings wouldn't get cut down, but in certain areas they would get cut down in two days. So at that point, uh, we started realizing that the swings could tell you a lot about a, a certain place. What really excites you about the Red Swing Project? That it focuses on police and swings. We've lived in this house for almost two years and like that'd be awesome to have a swing in our yard yeah. so maybe people will get off the internet and yeah. actually talk in person. How often do we come already? Every weekend? Pretty much if the, if the weather's nice we come every weekend we'll, on our ride down to the lake we'll stop. Then there's also the great question of when it gets cut down well what happens to that swing? You know we like to imagine that uh, the police officer that cuts it down takes it to his house and hangs it up for his daughter. So what made y'all decide to do it? I just thought people can get, get outside more and we can meet more of our neighbors. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. A lady from New Orleans sent me an email saying that she saw uh, a red swing in New Orleans and was inspired to write a song. Yeah, I, I asked Andrew about this as well. I was like, why is red swing? Hop on. there, is it ready to go? Yeah, it's ready to go. I aim more, I'm afraid because I didn't think of this before. Oh, okay. Or not the red person, the white person. Maybe aim to the side of the okay. stencil. Put your butt on the right side. Have you seen pictures of Yeah. All right, it works. <laughs> That's great. There you go. Did you forget how to swing? It's been a very long time, unfortunately. And I think what Andrew did was he took this exercise and he brought it into his world. It became his own exercise, you know, so he made it his own. And I think that's the part that it made it really successful. Even if they last a week it's, and no, if one person swings on it, that's enough. Or if it catches somebody's eye when they're sitting in rush hour traffic and puts a smile on their face, that's enough for us. Um, it's really about just uh, creating the opportunity for a moment. So we're not going to force anybody to swing on a swing, but we're going to put it out there and there's the potential that somebody uses it. We're going to create a, a potential for an, an opportunity or a personal moment to happen for someone. The more swings there are out there, we're increasing the odds for that moment to happen. we got to get our dogs on this thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Is that too high? Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping to spread it a little bit. Let's fingers cross. Let's see how it goes. I mean, something like the Red Swing Project, again, why it's so cool is because they just 
chats with you. Even if it's just through word of mouth, I just tell people about it and they get to do this. And maybe they think about it. I envision days, uh, a day where I'll be walking in another city and see a swing that I didn't hang and I never even knew existed and that uh, this, the project could be, it could grow exponentially if one swing le links to another swing, leads to another swing, um, the uh, limits are endless.